So who is Jesus? Eternal question. I read in the morning's paper, rather yesterday morning's paper, the Archbishop of Canterbury spoke, the first Archbishop ever to speak at St. Patrick's in New York City. And the Cardinal introduced him. He had a standing ovation. They turned the crowds away. The cathedral was filled to capacity. And this Archbishop of Canterbury, and he spoke to the crowd, then he went up to Riverside Church, and he spoke there. He had seen in the interval, he saw Jesus Superstar. Well, I haven't seen the play. And he commented on it. He didn't quite describe it. He said it comes at intervals, it comes close to a certain Christian faith. There are certain passages in it, he thought offensive. But they did not say, who is Jesus? Now, they did he, the Archbishop. He didn't say, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? I'll tell you. Jesus is the man in whom the will of God is fulfilled. And that will be true of every child born a woman. Jesus is the man who accomplishes the work that his father gave him to do. And when he accomplishes that work, he is his father. Man matures when he becomes his own father. And the day will come, everyone will awake, and he will be the father. And that is when he fulfills the will of God, as we are told in Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. The word is wrongly translated anger. The anger of the Lord will not turn back. That word anger means breathing forcefully. A forceful breath. It doesn't have to be an angry breath because you're breathing forcefully. The word breath and the word spirit are the same in both Hebrew and Greek. So the spirit of the Lord will not turn back until it has executed and accomplished the intense of my mind. In the latter days, you will understand it clearly. In the very end, you will understand it will not turn back because he has a purpose. The purpose is to transform man into God. As God. Not something just to reflect him, but as God. So you came down. You are the God that came down. You are the Elohim. You've been taught to believe you're a worm. You came out of the swamp. And then suddenly you became a tadpole. Then you became something else. And finally you find yourself a man. Forget it. You are the gods who came down from heaven. And assume the restriction, the limitation of man. This is the limit of contraction. And you assumed it. And you're going to fulfill a definite purpose in man, and while you walk the earth as man, that predetermined plan will erupt within you, and the whole thing will unfold within you. 